Hey everyone, so in today's video I am sharing with you all my favorite best of beauty lip products for 2021. So this is a part of my best of beauty for 2021 series. I've already done one on cream eyeshadow, I have done one on foundations, and I've also done one on just every category. I've done like my most used products of 2021. I will leave the playlist linked down below for you guys. 2021 I found a lot of new lip products that I absolutely adored, which spurred this video. Video. So let's just jump in. If you watch my channel, you know that I am a huge fan of liquid lip balms. I love the texture and I just find that that's the kind of lip product that really like does it for me. And I'm reaching for liquid lip balms on almost an everyday basis when I do my makeup. I just really enjoy how comforting they are. Rare Beauty came out with a bunch of different shades in their Stay Vulnerable line. And this formula was the formula that I was using a lot over this year. But something that I've talked about before is that I don't like how on the nose the shades are. Well, at the end of 2021, I discovered a new liquid lip balm formula. And I had to mention it even though I haven't been using it as long as this product because this is my new favorite liquid lip balm formula and I do think that it is better. So these are the new gloss and balm liquid lip balms from L'Oreal. I absolutely adore these. Number one, there's definitely a wider variety of undertones. These are obviously more accessible and more affordable, but you guys do know that I am willing to splurge on an item if I really feel like the formula warrants it. And this formula, I actually do believe to outperform the Rare Beauty. And the reason why is that it feels incredibly plush. It has that great balmy texture to it. I'm actually wearing the shade Rose Harmony on my lips today, but this one I found to fill in the lines of my lips just a touch more and also the glossiness of it was a little bit shinier and not in an unflattering way like sometimes shinier lip products they don't always translate as more flattering especially if they don't kind of fill in the lip lines and give you a really smooth appearance well these manage to do both absolutely love the colors i would like more colors do you prefer the scent of the Rare Beauty one because it's just light vanilla and these are more of like a sweet like a sweet floral I don't notice it once it's on my lips oh and another weird thing <laughs> that happened with these is I got this in the mail and this applicator came like this isn't right but I will say that the applicator even though this one is messed up it feels really really nice on the lips it's much more flexible but not too flexible this one is still nice it's just a little bit stiffer just you know that's going to be personal preference but I just find myself really looking forward to applying these I think they feel gorgeous and again very comforting on the lips you know how everyone has their different thing with makeup they're like I don't want to feel the foundation on my face for me I need a lip product that is very comfortable or else I just won't want to reach for it and these just give me pretty much everything that I could look for now as for a lipstick product that really got my attention earlier in 2021 these are the Chanel Rouge Coco hydrating lipsticks and oh my gosh, I have just been such a huge fan of these since I tried Chanel. And 2021 is when I finally kind of dove into Chanel's makeup. There are definitely hits and there are definitely misses, but this is 100% a hit in my book. This to me is just such a perfect classic everyday lip formula. And I really believe that when you purchase very luxurious makeup, you should want to treat yourself and wear it more. You know, I do think that there's something nice about having those little treat products where you only use them every once in a while, but I really enjoy that these lipstick lip formulas themselves really lend itself for an everyday makeup routine. So the formula is <laughs> beautiful. By the way, I have two shades. I have the shade Mademoiselle and the shade Suzanne. Mademoiselle is a little bit better for more of an everyday look in my opinion. And then Suzanne is great if you just want a little bit of that plummy edge to your look. I this this shade was the first I picked and I fell in love with it. The formula is a little bit stiffer, so it feels almost like a stiff balm going on the lips, not in um, an uncomfortable stiff way, 
but it gives you a bit of a grip and I do have a problem sometimes with lip products that I feel are getting outside of my lip lines or they're too creamy and I don't like I don't want to have to worry about my lip product and these have a great balance with that texture again the stiffness makes it very easy to control but they also have gorgeous very even pigment and also it definitely gives you a very um I don't know if bouncy is the right word, but it definitely gives you a voluminous look to your lips. These aren't super shiny. They're not super matte. It's again, just a very hydrating um, satin look to the lips. The shades, oh my gosh, these shades are gorgeous. The packaging, everything about this, the colors, the formula, again, it definitely gives me the feeling of this being a truly luxe formula and experience through and through. So I have been a huge fan of these. As far as a traditional lipstick goes, this was definitely my most used and my favorite of 2021. The way these just have a very like soft rose scent. I'm not a huge fan of rose scents in general, but it's not something that I notice really. But this is a very non-traditional lipstick product. And um, this one product I'm about to talk about is I think my favorite lip product ever. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Balms. So this product and this formula, everything about it is incredibly unique. And I just feel like this product is still a sleeper hit. I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about it. I mean, you guys know I pretty much talk about it in every video, so I'm not gonna stick here for too long and bore you guys, but the texture of this product is incredibly rich. It just has this beautiful thickness about it. Honestly, it just has this really lush, balmy texture that wants to stick to the lips in a way that is so enveloping. It really gives you this gorgeous, healthy look to your lips. And that's really a surefire way for me to want to reach for a product over and over. Again, it's something between a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip balm. It has a touch of glossiness like a lip gloss, but the texture itself feels way more balmier and comforting without this ever feeling sticky. So Pillow Talk is still my favorite. I think that this shade is absolutely gorgeous. And this hybrid formula is one that I will keep talking about on my channel. By the way, these have just a very light vanilla scent, very non-offensive. And most used lip liner is uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I don't really use up lip liners, so I think that it says a lot that this is getting down there. But yeah, this is just a lip liner that goes with almost every lip look that I use, so that's why I find that I'm using it a lot. I also find that it's a really nice balanced uh, pinky nude. When nudes go a little bit too warm, I really, like it's not super flattering for me. And I just find because this is more neutral, there are a lot of different people that this will be flattering on. And Charlotte Tilbury has also extended this. So they have like the lightest pillow talk, the medium, and then the deep, which I love. This year I got back into lip plumpers. I did do like a roundup video of a bunch of different lip plumpers. And I'm happy to keep doing those videos if you guys are interested. But I have three here that I wanted to talk about because I feel like these are really the standouts. So number one, this is one that I talk about a lot, so I'm not gonna stick here for too long, but it is the Diamond Plumper from Physicians Formula. One, it's affordable. There are a few different shades, and I feel like sometimes not all the shades are available, so it can be kind of confusing, but I have this pinky nude shade, and I also have the Princess Cut, which is like the iridescent shade, which is my favorite. So if you're a fan of that classic iridescent, just make your lips look big and full and plump kind of lip plumper, please, please, please check it out. Like I always tell people, if you're using the Too Faced lip injections and you are not completely happy with those, I would really highly suggest that you guys check these out because the lip gloss itself has a very beautiful kind of gel formula. It gives you that gorgeous raindrop effect. It has a very slight um, plumping effect as well. So it's not going to irritate your lips, but it's still going to give you a decent tingle. And it's going to give you a healthy plumped look, not just because of the actual plumping nature of the product. For example, with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, I've talked about that and have used that product before. That is more of a serum product. So it's really not going to help the lips look shinier or bigger in the sense of like the illusion of a gloss. It will certainly plump your lips though, but 
I would argue if you have very soft lip lines the way that I do that it's not super flattering. But anyway, I wanted to throw it out there that I absolutely, absolutely love this one. And as for scent, this just has a very classic just like lip plumper smell. It's not super awesome, obviously. Like it definitely smells like that chemical lip plumper, but I honestly don't mind it. Another one that I am a big fan of are the lip maximizers from Dior. This one is in the shade Rosewood. I really, really love this one. I used to have the iridescent one as well. I would say that these are not quite as spicy as this one. The Dior lip maximizers have like a really nice kind of sweet minty smell to them. I love that it has a very small applicator um, because I feel like you can be very precise and get like a nice precise little Cupid's bow moment. And in general, this formula I find to be one of the more balmy uh, lip plumpers that I have found. A lot of lip plumpers lean more on um, like the glossy side or more of that, again, like serum texture that is truly more of like an activated formula. And this one is really nice because it gives you kind of that comforting balmy formula. With that tingle, it looks really nice and flattering on the lips, but it's not like a super glossy, glossy formula. Now, if you want like intense shine, like super beautiful, every lip line kind of filled in look, the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss, this by far is like, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous product for those of you that really want a line smoothing lip plumper. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It just smells like a strawberry smoothie. This just looks like glass on the lips. It is so incredible the way that it smooths out the lips and really offers that reflection. It is more of a thick gel texture. So I do think like if you are not a fan of a thicker lip gloss, you probably won't like this. But honestly, I'm not a fan of a sticky lip gloss. And even though this is thick, it's not sticky on my lips. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, but holy crap. I am just blown away by how healthy my lips look. It's a very soft plumping effect, so it's not too intense. It's incredibly flattering. And I also really enjoy that. I know they have like a bunch of different colors and some with less color if you would prefer like it clear. This is the shade Velvet. And I feel like this shade is so perfectly um, executed as far as pigment because it's not too much milky pigment on the lips. I feel like a lot of different skin tones would look good in this shade. And it's just sheer enough that I feel like there's that pretty um, translucent juiciness to it rather than a lot of, again, like milky white pigment, which is not something that I'm a fan of in my lip products. Holy cow, this applicator, because of the slant, it just glides on the lips and it definitely feels luxurious. Let's say you want to go with something a little bit more matte. I picked up this during the Sephora VIB sale and oh my gosh, I was hoping that this shade would be what I saw online and it was so perfectly accurate. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick and <laughs> this is like perfect. If you love terracotta shades, I highly suggest checking this out. But aside from the shade itself, I just love this lipstick. I love one, the packaging incredibly luxe, nice and magnetized. Not a scent to this really at all, so if you prefer no scents, that will be a good thing. It is such a gorgeous, smoothing matte. And it's very lightweight as well, and I always get a little bit nervous when people say, oh, this is so lightweight, especially because I have Quite often I have dry lips and when something feels very lightweight on the lips, I get worried that it's going to be drying, but it is not. It's also very um, long wearing, it fades very evenly on the lips. And in general, it just gives you that really smooth blotted lip look without having to take the extra steps to blot your lip. And again, it's more of a smoothing blotted matte. Some can look a little bit drying and not quite as flattering on the lips. I've just been a huge fan of these. And I also just find in general, like for me, um, you know, a good lip color, something that's a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Not that this is really like a super bold lip color, but I just feel like this really brightens up every look that I pair it with. It is just definitely a favorite. And I really want to try the lip liners as well because the demos that I've seen with the lip liners look very promising. So if you guys have tried any of the lip liners, if you have a favorite shade, feel free to let me know down below. Next, I also did a video talking about the Dior lip oils. Those definitely 
definitely went a bit viral last year and a lot of people were talking about them. So I wanted to do kind of an alternative to the Dior lip oil kind of video just to give you guys a bunch of different options. And the In Beauty lip glaze in the shade number one ended up being a favorite. This product, okay, first of all, I love the smell. I love the smell so much. It is like watermelon Twizzler. It is incredibly delicious, but the formula itself, I think is slightly better. One, I just find that it lasts a little bit better. Um, I do find that with the Dior lip oils, because they're a touch, just very slightly thinner, the color fades faster. And this one has a touch more grip to it, a touch more shine as well. And it just lasts a little bit longer. Um, I do still think that the Dior lip oils are like a, a gorgeous formula and the colors are beautiful as well. But I just like that this one lasts a little bit longer. I get a touch more of that filled in look to my lips for longer. And I think that this shade is really pretty too. And a lot of people will really enjoy this one just for like an everyday shiny lip look. And lastly, we have the lip serums from Fit Glow. So this was a product that my friend State of Kate recommended to me. They smell really nice. They actually smell kind of like frosting, not in too sweet of a way, but more so I feel like this um, formula reminds me of like frosting. Like it has a bit of a creamier balm texture. It's not super, super balmy the way something like the L'Oreal would be. It just has a little bit more fluff to it. It has a little bit more of that butteriness that I think a lot of people will enjoy. They go on the lips quite thinner, but they still have this really nice comforting, just in general, very luxurious texture. They have a ton of different shades, but the one shade that I wanted to recommend and the one that I always go back to is the shade Root. The shade Root is gorgeous. It's kind of like that warm toned black cherry kind of shade. It's very beautiful. I love the way that they feel on my lips and I feel like my lips are actually doing better when I'm using this as an everyday lip product. I will leave my Best of Beauty 2021 playlist linked down below for you guys in case you want to catch up on my other videos. I have been only talking about like my staple products in those videos, products that I have used and really, really feel confident recommending. I hope they end up being helpful. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.